Once upon a time, simply owning a keyboard was, well, exactly that. It was a simple input device. Fast forward to today, and any tech enthusiast will tell you keyboards are a lifestyle. That's right, you might just get judged for not owning a mechanical keyboard in 2023. On that topic, of course, I like to review various keyboards to see which ones are awesome and which ones are a waste of money. Which brings us to today's keyboard, the Newfie Halo 65. I'm a big fan of the Halo 96, which is my daily driver keyboard, so naturally I was curious to see if this smaller form factor keyboard can live up to the same expectations that I've come to expect with the Halo 96. So let's get into a detailed review and show you guys what it's all about. Packaging is important. It speaks towards the enthusiasm a company has towards its own products. And Newfie really excels in that regard. The Halo 65 comes in this really cool Elbit fat box. Remove all that protective packaging and then remove the paperback cover and you have yet another box with a blueprint of the actual keyboard. Pretty cool. Anyway, once you open up the box itself, inside you will find this booklet slash brochure, which has all the quick start guide information as well as some stickers. Now past that, remove some more protective packaging and you have the crown jewel, the Halo 65 in the flesh. What a beautiful piece of hardware, but more on that in a quick minute. Now beyond that, you have this really cool accessory kit and you have a lot going on here. So you have spare keycaps, you also have sample switches that you feel that you try out. You have a key swapping tool, a spare space bar, and of course a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, all of which are useful things to have. And finally, you have this other piece of paper over here, which is some additional documentation information about the keyboard itself. Aside from the Air 65, the Halo 65 is the smallest offering Newfie offers in their normal profile lineup of keyboards. And it is a petite keyboard after all, it's just a 65% keyboard, meaning you are compromising on a function set of keys and you're also not getting any sort of 10 keypad. In return, however, you get a very petite and nice looking piece of hardware. You still have the beautiful high contrasting keys we've come to expect with new fee keyboards, which gives this keyboard a very nice apparel overall. Also, I appreciate the fact that the black color here is not overwhelming, rather they've gone with a slightly more grayish tone of black which I personally like. It provides just the right amount of reflection, and this is a really nice looking keyboard, but it's more than just a pretty face. After all, you do get a metallic exterior for the top half of the build, which gives it a very premium feel. Now, the bottom side of the keyboard might have a plastic finish, but it's sturdy, and it also houses the 4,000 milliamp hour battery over here, which you can see with that little metal panel. And you'll also notice, aside from the rubber grips, you do have some nice height razors over here with a two-tier setting system, Thankfully, they're not magnetic and they're built in, a huge flaw that I noted with the Air 75 keyboard. The rear side is where you'll find all the connectivity options. So firstly, you have a switch to go between wired, wireless, and Bluetooth mode. And yes, the Bluetooth mode allows you to save multiple profiles. You also have a USB-C port over here, which you can use to charge the device, as well as use it in wired mode. Now on the other side, you'll notice you have housing for the 2.4 gigahertz USB-A adapter. And I highly recommend using this if you're gonna go for the wireless mode. It provides the most stable connection in my opinion, though Bluetooth is a pretty good alternative as well. Okay, so let's talk about all the cool features this keyboard has to offer. First and foremost, this is a fully RGB backlit keyboard, which means yes, every single individual keycap has RGB lighting built in and you can actually swap through all the modes. They're directly built in the keyboard and they're pre-programmed and it's pretty easy to do so once you learn the hotkeys. And there's a lot of cool options over here, but they also don't add the word halo for nothing. So you may not notice this right away, but you actually have a 360 degree sidewall at the borders of the the keyboard and that has its own lighting scheme which also can be adjusted with the hotkeys built onto the keyboard. It provides a very customizable and very fancy feature over here. So if you are an RGB fanatic, you'll definitely appreciate that. Still here, I'm so happy to see that. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing to this channel. Not only does it help me grow, it ensures that I can actually fundamentally run this channel, keep it funded, get enough views and provide more quality videos just like this for you awesome people. I won't take up any more of your time, let's continue. 
As I mentioned earlier, you have some of the most beautiful looking keycaps here thanks to that unique color combination UFI provides. Now, aside from the fancy black and white tone going over here, each and every single keycap is basically double shot PBT molded, meaning it has a very solid but ultimately rigid design. And also you have a very subtle curve at the top, which is in line with the natural curve of your fingertips, making for a more ergonomic experience. But the key highlight here is that these keycaps caps are highly greased and moisture resistant. So with a lot of keyboards over time, you'll notice that you kind of get this excessive shine buildup that you don't actually want from all the grease basically making contact with the keycap. That does not happen here. And believe me, if you have oily fingers like I do, unfortunately, that can be quite the problem. It's also worth noting, this is a fully hot swappable keyboard, meaning you can actually remove every single keycap you see on this keyboard, but you can even go a step further because you can also replace every single switch over here. Now, the cool thing with Newfie is that they offer a ton of pre-configured option for switches and they're compatible with Gateron switches as well. So there are lots of customizable options over here. Now, we do by default have baby kangaroo switches on this keyboard, right? here and Baby Kangaroo is basically a collaborative effort between Newfi and Gateron to kind of create a semi in-house switch and they're pretty much what I'd consider to be fairly tactile switches so they have very snappy feedback and they are a little bit loud because of that snappy behavior but they feel so good on the fingers if you like getting maximum feedback Baby Kangaroo switches are really good in that regard a little bit a little loud though of course you probably want to have some sort of reference so here's a quick typing test to give you an idea of what they sound like. This thing does have a pretty large 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And if you have all the backlighting on at around 50% brightness, based on our own tests, we got around 12 and a half hours on a single charge, which is kind of meh. But to be fair, if you have the backlighting fully off, you can get easily over 300 hours on a single charge, which is pretty impressive. While it's not as impressive as Logitech's MX Mini Mechanical, which can get 12 friggin' months, it's still pretty good in its own right. It's also worth noting, this keyboard is fully compatible with Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android, and you can swap to the various modes directly from the keyboard itself without any sort of external software. A huge shout out to Newfie for also including sample switches. So they basically have all the switches included in the box that you can buy online so you can try it out before you order the entire set and take the plunge online. And that's definitely a nice thing to add and makes your all experience that much better. Now this keyboard does have a starting price of 120 US dollars and 130 for the baby kangaroo switch we have over here however you are getting a ton of value for that fairly high price tag for example you get some phenomenal build quality attributes here like a top metal frame double shot ppt keycaps full rgb backlighting with a 360 halo lighting bar as well now of course past that you also get practical elements like a high quality typing experience the ability to do a lot of hot swappability and customize your keyboard as you see fit both at the keycap level as well as at the switch level and of course that 4000 milliamp hour battery make sure that you get plenty of all day long activity and that you don't have to charge your keyboard on a daily or even weekly basis if you are keeping the backlighting fully turned off the point being you are getting the full package with this keyboard now it is a little chunky for its size so if you want a slightly more sleeker keyboard some competitors might do a better job but again Again, in return, you're getting a very sturdy and well-built piece of hardware. In any case, let me know what you think of the Halo 65. And by the way, if you are in Canada, they are now offering Halo 65 keyboards on Best Buy. So I will leave links for the Canadian sites alongside the US one as well. So now more people can shop and check out new fee keyboards. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to this channel. It genuinely helps me grow and means the world to me. Catch you in the next one.